Hey guys, it's Marie. So today I wanted to share with you this Rose and Roses phone case says DIY. And I'm going to show you two options. For the first option, I'm going to be using this pretty old and stained phone case. It's like an acrylic or plastic one. I bought it a long time ago and I use it over and over again. I just paint over it. But I'm going to be painting this with this white acrylic paint and my brush. I'm going to be giving this two coats or three. I'm letting it dry in between coats over this acrylic paint bottles. Once it's done, I'm going to be taking this rose cookie cutter. I bought this at a local store, but I'm sure you can find options like this one online or at baking stores. But yeah, I'm just going to be using my mechanical pencil and I'm just going to trace in the shape of my rose. Then I'm going to be using some pink and some green acrylic paint in my dotting tool. You can use a toothpick as well, but I prefer to work with this dotting tool because I can clean it after. And I do have a DIY for this one. If you want to check it out, it's quite handy to have. But I'm just going to be painting the roses like this. Kind of like tracing zigzaggy, not really, but kind of uh, motions with the paint. And just starting like small and just building from there. I'm pretty bad at describing how I do this, but hopefully you can get an idea from watching me doing this. You know, adding as many roses as I want and I'm just going to work inside like the rose shape. Then I'm going to be taking my green acrylic paint and my dotting tool and I'm going to be adding some leaves doing this motion. It's kind of like a line but a bit thicker on the like middle part, if that makes any sense at all. Once I have done that and I'm happy with how many leaves I have, I'm going to be using my rose gold acrylic paint. I have the DIY on this one if you want to check it out. It's on the cards. This is what this one looks like. I really like it actually. And I'm going to be taking my detail brush and I'm just going to paint around the rose. First on the edges following the line of my pen and then completing my phone case covering it with my thicker brush. Giving this a couple of coats and finally I'm just going to be adding some glass. I'm using this one by Sculpey. And again, I'm working with my brush and yeah, giving this, I give this like three coats. The more coats you add, the shinier it'll be. But yeah, this is it for this one. I really like it. I think it looks really dainty and delicate, kind of like sweet. One day though, I'm going to be painting the rose gold part in black. But yeah, until then, this is what this one looks like. And I really like it actually. Now let's move on to a clear one. I'm going to be using this clear phone case. I'm going to use this white cardboard paper. I'm going to be pretty much doing the same thing as I did before. First trace the shape of my cookie cutter cut that until i have like a kind of like stencil then i'm going to be placing my phone underneath the paper and i'm going to be pretty much working from there i'm just going to mark where i want the apple of my phone to be i'm going to be taking my uh, phone case placing this upside down and i'm going to mark the shape of it i'm going to cut that and then i forgot to cut like the gap of the camera thing i'm going to mark that and i'm going to cut it then i'm going to be painting this with my rose gold again while that's right i'm going to be taking a piece of acetate sheet in my pink and green acrylic paints. I cut it the shape of my uh, phone case but just ignore that because I'm gonna be cutting that anyways at the end. So I'm just gonna be adding my roses as I did before on this side but since what I'm drawing is going to be on the back of my phone case I'm just gonna be placing my cardboard rose upside down just because I want to paint my roses according to the shape of the rose, the big rose that I have there. So I'm gonna be placing my cardboard rose underneath my acetate sheet and then I'm gonna keep on painting my roses in my leaves. Again, this part that I'm painting right now is gonna be touching the back of my phone. This is just so my phone case itself doesn't touch the acrylic paint because sometimes acrylic paint stains the phone, the clear phone case. And if you make a mistake while painting those roses, don't worry, you just have to quickly remove it with a piece of cotton with some water. And then I'm gonna be cutting that part of the acetate sheet. You don't need that much, really. You just need the part where the roses are and a bit on the edges so it doesn't move around. And then I'm gonna be placing like this and they both go inside my phone case so the idea with this one was that the small flowers are supposed to be like a floral wallpaper and then the big flower is supposed to be like a floral window to those like flowers if that makes any sense at all i just had this rose cookie cutter made rose gold and uh, i like florals and i want to make something with them and I really like them actually, both of them. Even though they are like the same concept, it, they look pretty different. But yeah, these are the ideas that I want to share with you. And hopefully you like them too. And if you did, don't forget to give this a thumbs up. Check out more phone cases that I have on my channel. Subscribe for more. Let me know what you think of this one. If you have a favorite, let me know. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll text you later and take care. Bye.